make sure you do that extra safety effort because it may take you an extra five minutes, but it may save somebody a lifetime of hurt. That's my message for today. Every year, Alberta municipalities hire hundreds of workers for seasonal lawn maintenance activities. Many of these are young workers. Injuries and incidents rise during lawn maintenance season, and not every worker walks away from an injury or incident. Lawn maintenance injuries can be disabling. In the worst case, they can end a life. Martina Levick was a young worker in an Alberta municipality. She was killed in a lawn maintenance incident. My little sister Martina, she was definitely a handful. If I've taken away anything from knowing her and how she lived her life in her short 21 years, it's that life can come and go as quick as you can blink and you have to enjoy every moment and live everything to the fullest, same as she did. She was a spitfire girl from day one. She had a lot of energy and spunk. Didn't ever want her to miss anything and a jokester too. She lived life to the fullest, always. And, you know, being with what's happened. We're so boy, happy she did. Yeah, we're glad she did. So the day Martina didn't make it home from work, I wish I would have talked to her that day. If she would have told me she was going to be working under a mower, I would have made sure I told her, make sure you block it up or use jack stands. You always need to have that safety backup, very important. And you know, that's something as uh, parents, older workers, supervisors, we should always make sure we tell the young people, you need to do this because things can happen in an instance. You think it won't happen to me, but obviously it can. And it's our responsibility to make sure that they are aware of this and that any safety thing that can be done is being done. So at the end of the day, we all get to go home safe from work. So to all your supervisors, older employees, make sure you have that avenue available for the younger worker to block that mower jack stands, whatever, and not just lawnmowers, any equipment that you may be working underneath. Make sure you do that extra safety effort because it may take you an extra five minutes, but it may save somebody a lifetime of hurt. My biggest takeaway is wanting to ensure that not only are employees aware of their responsibility to be aware of their work surroundings, but also just having management, supervisors, owners, really taking accountability to ensure that they're providing a safe workplace. Everyone thinks it isn't gonna happen in their own workplace, and it doesn't take much. It can be as simple as a tool left out that can cause someone to be injured. Never work alone is my first one. Never work alone. And don't put your employee in a situation that isn't safe. Because you have the power over them, and especially young people, they need that job. They're trying to do whatever they can to please their employer. And chances are they're not going to say no. Where as an employer, you shouldn't be putting them in that position where there is a chance of something going wrong. And I think too often that happens. Assess the, your surroundings, understand what you're going into. And for supervisors and management, they should be doing that first check before you, the employee even gets there to make sure that they're bringing a safe workplace for their staff. 
employers, it's seasoned employees that have been around for a long time at these jobs. It's everybody's job to make sure that everybody, all employees go home safe at the end of the day. That's the most important thing for, for their friends, their family, the whole works. Because there's nothing worse than what we've gone through. You know, you have a piece of your heart that's ripped out and can never be replaced. You know, it gets, it gets easier with time. It never gets better. But it gets easier. It's easier to deal with as each day, each year goes by. It gets a little easier, but it never gets better and it never will. Because in a heartbeat, things can go wrong and it can change everybody's life drastically. It's everybody's job to make sure workers get home safe to their families. <laughs>